Hello, hello, people. Welcome to the stream. Hope everybody is doing well. I was just about to sleep. Well, this should not stop you from sleeping. Still, go sleep. V Fury, appreciate it. Um, what's up, shoddy? Nothing much. I thank you for. I I'll take it as a compliment. Yes, I'm shoddy. Honestly, I don't really know what that means. I'm just going with the flow. Um. All right, Simon, you better have a good explanation for why you dragged me here in the dead of night. It is the dead of night for me as well. If any one of you would like to guess what time it is over here with me, well, actually, I'm not going to let you guess. I'm going to tell you. It's almost 3 a.m., and I'm deciding to stream because I feel like drawing, and I'm pulling you along with me. No foot. No foot, Flitco. But yeah, I, I just sort of felt like drawing. So, that's what we're going to do. Basically, uh, what we're going to be working on is we have obviously last stream we designed hold on i'm trying to click into krita and it's not letting me there you go last stream we designed the war bore uh and by the by the comments on the post asking to name this thing it seems like i have accidentally stumbled on a pretty good name because people seem to like the name war bore so most likely, that's going to be the name we just stick with, because, I don't know, it's easy to remember. Warbore. And it's also fun to say. Warbore. But yeah, we designed this last stream, so what we're going to do this stream is design armor for it. Because we can't have a giant warbore without armoring the fuck out of it, and making it look all cool and badass. And so, we're going to design armor. And, and come up with with interesting designs that you know might might be well interesting i did already look for some references but um why can't i zoom in there you go definitely not a lot of reference but one idea that i did have was that the armor could be very over exaggerated you know, it is intentionally made uh, crazy looking to up the intimidation factor, right? So it's not just function, it's also intentionally looks crazy. Um, so ideas that I had was to try and make it look more monstrous, like have the armor that covers the face look like well, a face or like a demon and have like teeth and tusks or i was also this is this is one that i think is going to turn out really well if i can pull it off the way i'm picturing it so the face plate i was picturing would be very large because it would be good to protect from the front so it would have like these two large plates either side probably uh to protect the rest of the body as well from like a frontal angle um and have this the side panels here be decorated to look like a phalanx, to look like a, a group of soldiers with shields standing next to each other, like this, with like, a, you know, their helmets sticking out like this, and like a spear, and the spears actually come out of the side panels into, you know, like big old spikes.
like that. I don't think it needs armor, but armor is certainly good. Um, there, I have a size comparison here, like a person compared to it. But yeah, some sort of phalanx idea might be interesting. Um, but I, I sort of, as I was thinking about it, I, I got to a roadblock. Right, and this is this is a roadblock, roadblock, and and maybe you guys can help me get out of this roadblock and help me figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Also, if if you're wondering, I I am a bit stuffy. I'm not sick. It's just my nose does this sometimes, so I I might sound a little nasally. Well, it's not like I sound nasally all the time already, but um. Yeah, angular armor would be good as well. So here's the roadblock. I obviously want the armor to be ornate. It is a ROM creature, which means the armor is made, is, is ROM made, right? Which means there's ROM patterns on it. But I still haven't figured out what ROM patterns look like. I, I had... Um, what I usually do for ROM is just like those, you know, these patterns. Hold on. Uh, this. Like this shit. You know? That, that. Like, that's normally what I did for ROM. But, I, I don't know. I feel like I, I need some more meaningful patterns. Because for Varus, we have it so they depict their gods and and stuff like that in their designs. Um, so they have like a they they have a thing to work off of, like stories and and stuff like that. Um, but for Ram, the issue is they have sort of abandoned the gods. Well, they they don't believe in the same gods that Varus does. Varus believes in the pantheon. Right, which is like a bunch of gods they can get reference from for their designs, but Ram only believes, or, or they 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 believe the other gods exist, but they only respect the god of magic. So there wouldn't really, I I don't know why they would put other gods' designs into their armor if they don't like them. Please, no edginess. Oh, don't worry. I I don't like edginess for the sake of edginess um but but yeah i i i wanted them to like depict themselves like lifting up themselves within their patterns but that's that's sort of still limiting that would still be like people and stuff which is not much to go off of how many gods are there there are 13 gods But yeah, I don't I don't know what what Rom uses as reference for their patterns. Like, do they just take things from around the environment? But then it's like, what do they take? Do they take flowers? Because then it'd be pretty much like that pattern I always use for Rom, which is this. If they take flowers and and stuff like that as inspiration, but I don't feel like Rom taking inspiration from flowers would make sense. They're a country focused on industrializing things, and obviously them having patterns already doesn't make sense, but them having, like, flowers and elegant curves and stuff like that doesn't really make sense to me. The, the, the excuse that I had before is that the reason they make patterns is because they want to show off their craftsmanship, 
and flowy, elegant patterns are hard to do, harder than, you know, geometric patterns. So that's why they do those. It's just because they are hard to do. Uh, where are the vulnerable spots on the warp, or would it be possible to make some kind of blocky armor shape over the vulnerable spots so you can see the frame of the art? What? I, there's no point in having fractal shapes on something that doesn't require mana. Um, it would be misleading. The whole reason I put fractal shapes only on things that are magic is to differentiate them from normal things. Um, if I put fractal shapes on this as well, then it will be confusing. Because there's no point of this thing having fractal shapes. The armor. Best advice for power leveling your art? I don't know. Just have fun with it. Just draw what you like, I guess. For DMing you, I'm not going to get mad for you DMing me. I tell people to contact me that way all the time. Though, e even if I tell people to DM me, every time somebody DMs me, they start the message with, I'm sorry that I'm DMing you. I don't mean to you know, annoy you or anything. I'm sure everybody, I'm sure everyone messages you a ton already. That's like the one thing everyone starts their messages with. You don't have to say that because it's true. And yes, they do. But I still read all of them. I am very open to DMs. I don't have an issue with them. So you don't have to like put your fingers together. Oh, um, I'm sorry I, I got into your DMs. I, I hope that is okay. You know, toe twirling on the floor. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I said don't get mad at me. No, you, too late, Dan. Too late. I'm already mad. Hog-like patterns. There are clouds and stars and the sun. Craftsmanship also trying to show innovating new armor. What if the armor is healed on the board itself? There's no point in doing that. You seriously don't have to call you, me out like that. No, no, don't worry, Insanity. It's literally everyone. I'm not calling you out. I'm calling literally everyone who DMs me out. Because everybody has said that. It is the same thing every time. It is completely fine, but I just want to clear it up. You don't have to say that. It's fine. I like getting DM'd. Or I, not, I don't like it. It's like, you know, that's the way you contact me. <laughs> How else are you supposed to contact me? Put a mace on its tail. I've already uh, read that. Uh, no, that doesn't make sense. What about Minecraft horse armor? That'd be cool, actually. Yeah, Minecraft horse armor. Let's go diamond horse armor on a war boar. I'm just thinking. So, hold on. Let me write it down. So, Rom's goal with patterns. So, it's first of all to show craftsmanship.
then it's also to let's say bolster their ego that's bust bolster Then, what other reason? I feel like they'd also be very literal with it. I, I don't know how to spell literal. There you go. Um, by literal, I mean like... Uh, if it's something that's supposed to be sturdy and tough, they will put patterns on it that, you know, show it being sturdy and tough. So it's like putting shields on the war boar. That's, you know, showing the, the use of the thing. Um, if it's supposed to be like a sword, we'll just have more swords as a pattern. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, it's, it sort of only works with the defensive one, doesn't it? Um, what other purpose would you put on the fucking pattern? I guess you could put, like, people getting decapitated on a sword or something. That could be interesting. Rom, Rom rides the war boars. Rom rides the war boars. So no florals. Yeah, because no patterns would be for flower picking. Fire on a cannon. Ah, there you go. Thank you. Yes, fire on a cannon. <laughs> that makes sense. Intimidation. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, flowers... Flowers would still work. Because, obviously, there will be things that are made out of metal that are supposed to look elegant. Like, for example, the armor of a king, something like that. You know, you don't want the armor of the king to look like a fucking demon. No, the armor of the king is supposed to look regal and elegant and beautiful. So that's where you put the flower patterns. Or, like, beautiful, ornate boxes and, and stuff like that. You know? Hmm. A war boar isn't elegant. You're very observant. Good job. Pig on the pig. I guess. Definitely not skull and crossbones. With any sort of design, I try to avoid skulls like the plague. Just because it's... It just... To me, for my world, it just won't fit. It's way too tacky. Um, contra Like, it, it'll stick out like a sore thumb, you know? It's like, ah yes, beautiful craftsmanship. Elegant patterns, shields representing strength and and unstoppable force. Skulls, crossbones, let's fucking go, you know, fucking mohawks made out of spikes and shit, like, uh eh. It's too much. You know, it's too on the nose.
Hmm. And grape writing is interesting. Okay, also, hold on. Uh, bolster their ego would also mean fucking shit. God damn. Why does the notification sound so loud? Scared the shit out of me. Hold on. There you go. I lowered. You can't hear it, but I heard it. Jump scared me. Uh, bolster their ego would also mean um, religion. Uh, which means depicting uh, saints, drills, miners, my my minors, miners. How do you spell it? the digging ones? How do you spell the digging ones? Who am I kidding? In my world, they're the same. <laughs> Child labor. <laughs> Um, minors, yes. Okay, cool, cool. Minors are children. Oh, okay. How, okay, no, no, because miners are very much respected by the people of Rom, uh, because obviously their whole religion is based around going deeper and going down underground, so miners are pretty much like monks, you know? Miners are like monks. You, you can choose to become a miner and then be, you know, on like a strict diet and shit like that, and basically, like, work your ass off in the mines uh, for the sake of pursuing the religion. Uh, what else is religious symbols? Oh, right, obviously. Um, uh, Yorm. Yorm as well. Though this will probably be... No, it can be on, like, different things as well. So I guess another thing that can represent the religion due to their digging could be gems. So gems... Valuable metal. Because they dig a lot. Um... Normal ones, yeah. The normal minerals. Maybe cave images would work? I don't know how I would make caves interesting as a pattern, really. Prayers and scriptures on armor? Yeah, that can be interesting. Definitely very 40k-esque, but, I mean, you can't deny that is it is a cool thing to have on armor. Prayers and scriptures. Then, I think that's all I can think of for what can represent their, their religion. Pig's name, John. Pig's name is John. Oh, thank you for the two euros. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Does sense of smell affect head? Affect head piece size near nose? Um, I mean, I, I feel like the armor would sort of stop around here. Or if it will continue, it would have to, like, flare out, like, about this much. So it doesn't, um, 
like touch the sensitive hairs and stuff too much. Um, and then also we could probably put like a muzzle over it or something to protect or just a piece of cloth like this to protect the schnoz. So I'd say we we can we can work around the schnoz with the armor. Stalactites and stalagmites, those are just stones. I mean, I, I guess you could... There's a stalagmite. Stalactites are the ones from the top, if you don't know yet. Um, I remember because I just always think stalactite, like tight, stuck to the ceiling. And stalagmite... Stalagmite might be on the floor! <laughs> That's how I remember no, oh, it might be on the floor. A wog? So the war boar would be called a wog? Is that a name suggestion, or...? Somebody in the comments also suggested just bonk. Which, <laughs> I I can't deny that I do kind of like it. Just thonk as this thing's name. It's a thonk! Because it's, it's so it's fun. Bog hog. Call it a bonk. A thonk. Oh, do oh shit, I missed the donation, sorry. I'm a little, obviously, I'm a, I'm a little unconscious at the moment, so um, bear with me. Um, Vinny, Vin, what? Vin, Vinicius Torres. I hope I said that name correctly. Thank you for the five R dollars. I don't know what the R is, but cool. Thank you for five of them. I appreciate it. Uh, maybe they should have aqua-like spirals if they are native to waterland and swamplands. The first you'd see would be on wet battlefields, right? Um. Well, the funny thing is, there are... Well, uh, I guess this doesn't really matter. Um, there are no natural warbores anymore. Because the place that they used to be is where the war is. So you could guess that place ain't there anymore. Or has been replaced with trenches. So the only warbores that are left are the ones branded by Rom. Don't say Warburacy. <laughs> My god, please. I'm picking you. Call them Waba instead of Warbor? Are you sure, Mr. Pig? Are you sure the enemy will be intimidated when they scream over the hills? Oh no! A Waba is coming! The Waba! Really? Waba? That's gonna fucking strike fear into the enemy's hearts? The Waba! Too many Wabas in those trenches. Or Wabas? I am sure. Cool. Um, uh, 
Okay, flowers, that works. Shields. Fire. So I basically turn things into monsters, add more eyes, more spikes, more teeth, where they shouldn't be. We're just calling it Warbor. I don't know why everybody's suggesting names. I thought I said, like, in the start of the stream, where I was like, weirdly enough, people like the name Warbor, so we're sticking with it. I'm not currently looking for name suggestions. Maybe it was my mistake for reading them out, making people think that I was. Apologies. Vinicius Torres, thank you for the additional five... Our dollars. Sorry for the off topic, but there is uh what there is any plans for naval warfare? Um, due to the layout of where Ram and Varus is, uh sadly I don't think much nad nad natal naval warfare would be happening just because it's, it's they're they're both like uh surrounded by land on on most sides and either way like the i guess I mean, yeah naval warfare makes sense even if you're like you obviously would have ports and then cutting off those ports like rom cutting off varus's ports would be quite a good idea because varus depends quite heavily on international trade but I'll think about it. I'll think about naval, uh, naval battle. What the fuck? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I haven't been paying attention. Uh, that armor is badass. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I was sort of uh, just thinking with the intimidation factor, they would just literally try to turn things into monsters, uh, which means adding more eyes. And I was going to say demons, right? But you know what that implies, right? That means that these people believe that there's a hell. But where is the hell? Because Ram believes their god is at the center of the earth. So if they have, like, a bad place you go, if you're bad, where is it? If it's not down below, is it up in the sky? You get to be with the, the gods that they hate? I guess. I guess that's, that's pretty much what they're... They can believe in demons without a hell? I guess so. Space up, hell up. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. The sun or the moon? That's interesting. The void. Parallel plane. Yeah, it could be like that too. Hey, I have a question. Do the dwarves have a 
bigger and armored versions of themselves, like the previous. Uh, no, not anymore. Because I wanted the dwarves to seem more like they rely on their ingenuity, so the larger versions is the golems that they have, the the constructs that they make. Um, so it was better to leave them small so that they have an excuse to make the big golems. It was not necessary to spam the question like eight times, though. I would appreciate if you don't do that, you know. If I miss it, then you can wait a little bit and then post it again, but it is not necessary to spam it. I won't, like, do anything, but just warning. Um, small guys. Yes, they're intentionally small. Uh, you see the night sky? Yes, father. Each of those stars are tortured souls. Jesus. That's a nice image to have. You see those flickering lights up there? That's tortured people screaming. But yeah, I mean, Rom, we could play that into Rom's paranoia. Um, if they believe that... So Rom believes good is down. <laughs> this is, this is going to be the most advanced diagram you've ever seen. Good down add up it could be that um they've sort of begun being paranoid about the gods above and depicting them more as devils and demons um so maybe perhaps the thing that Varus believes in the 12 gods right that they cherish and oh the gods whatever ram on the other hand depicts them as evil bastards so like devilish versions of the gods so twisting the narrative maybe um a god of love is instead a demon of lust and whatever stuff like that i don't know how they'd figure out how they'd think about the other gods though i that's like the only one i can flip around quite easily but um for example the god of the forge the fuck What's that one going to turn into? The god of the forge turns into the god of laziness? He's just sitting on his ass, not working? I don't know. Thank you for the ten pounds? I think those are pounds. Thank you for ten of them. Appreciate it. What is the max tusk length? Uh, like, would they get woven into the armor for... Old veteran war woven into the armor? No, no, I don't. I don't think uh, they would get that long. Love the videos. Not been able to catch catch man recently. I think yes. I I also have not been able to catch man recently. Man run too fast. I can't catch him. <laughs> Uh, God of Guns, uh, Forge, makes killing tools. I guess, um, oh, the, the Forge God could be like a torturer instead, because uh, the God of the Forge is depicted as a snake. So instead, it could be like the torturer, you know, you, you, um, it is the thing keeping the fires of hell hot, whatever. That sort of thing, and it constricts and twists you and shit. Um, what are the other gods? Like, the god of nature could, I guess, be twisted into the god of, like, typhoons and, and chaos and, and shit like that. The god of destruction and change? Yeah, I guess so. That could work. Yeah, like the Brass Bowl Torture Chamber. I have a good friend in Rob called Ugastikus. <laughs> Nature is ruthless. 
I guess if you think about it hard enough, you can, like, twist all the gods into devils, pretty much. Yeah. So, I guess Rom's narrative would be, if if the gods were kind and were sweet, then why is the world a fucking hellhole? So... It, clearly, whoever is governing whatever is happening down here from above, the gods, uh, are bad. Well, no, that looks more sad. How do you... How the fuck do you make a... There you go. Right, right. That's how you do it. Okay, I, I guess that works. So, if if they depict demonic figures and stuff like that, that could be what they believe um, angels uh, or or figures from above to. Come on, am I too loud? No, I don't
I have returned. Sorry. I'm back now. Everybody? Um, where were we? We were at... What kind of patterns does Ram use? So, we can do the gods, but we just have to twist them into demons. So, evil gods. Mm. Also works. Um, I guess that's a pretty good amount of subject matters that Rom can deal with. But let's, I guess, let's not get too sidetracked and focus mainly on the armor that this thing's gonna have. Um, which will most likely be for the point of intimidation, so making it look like a monster, more eyes, more teeth, uh, and then also uh, bolstering their ego, probably with the, you know, the power of us together holding shields or whatever. This might represent the, the Rom soldiers uh, together. They They can become unstoppable or whatever, blah, 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 bullshit they want to try and say with their armor. Chainmail sublayer? Oh yeah, uh, we're, we're definitely going to have multiple layers. It's not just going to be a metal layer. That doesn't make sense. Um, we could also have that sort of shield pattern like here on the side as well. That would make sense. Like here. Let me do it in red so we can actually see it. Like here. And then I was thinking about having one of those like big um, houses on top of the elephants. I, I don't know what they're called. But instead of a saddle, you know, it's like that big just fucking, there's like a house on the thing. It would have to be made out of metal which means it probably can't be that thick wall-wise, but, like, if a person is that big, this thing's huge anyway, you could probably stuff, like, three people in there, honestly, if they're, like... You could probably stuff more than three people in there, actually. Uh, but, like, I did want, like, a cannon on it. Just go crazy. You know, just put a damn cannon on a fucking elephant. Um... Artillery cannon might make more sense, actually, than a thingy cannon. We might want it to be like this, actually. Depends. Uh, I don't know. Let's put it in the front first. But yeah, so uh, think about the patterns first. So the, the head of the turret can be God of Magic inspired, obviously. Um, which means, like, the crown can go here. And then his, his bearded face and the fucking cannon coming out of his fucking mouth again. Oh. Like that. And then the portholes are the same. They can be the eyes, like, the portholes. Oh, fingers as well can be a good uh, thing that they draw a lot of. Fingers. Do the people in the cannon wear clothes? Why would they go into war but naked? Mr. Super Chat? Oh, damn. Sorry. Hold on. Um... Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you for the $5. Sorry I saw it so late. It was 12 minutes ago. Uh, maybe try having the armor made of different colored metals arranged in a large rib-like pattern on a way to show Ram's heavy mining. 
That could be interesting, like showing off multiple metals in one design. I'll have to think what kind of metals would fit together, though, color-wise. They might clash a lot, you know. Rokin, thank you for the five euros. Uh, round shapes with all the eyes and the ear earthy nature of Ram considered, I think, a metallic version of jo Joman art could work well. Otherwise, Persian jo hold on, I'm going to search that up. No, I didn't want to make a clip. Uh, let me search that up real quick. Jump. Oh, this th this stuff. Right, right. I didn't know the name of this. I think somebody... I think I'm saying the same exact thing the first time I heard about it. I was like, oh, I didn't know the name of this. And then I promptly forgot it. And now I'm rediscovering it again. Oh, I didn't know the name of this. Yeah, I guess this could be interesting. Want to see? Want to see? Uh, search up Roman, uh, J O M O N art, uh, and you'll find it. It's the pottery stuff. I can't explain it further than that. Pottery stuff. have multiple eyes like this. And then we can have like big bristles like uh, cloth. Just still give it that mustache. I was also thinking you could spikes on this as well or maybe like scythe blades <laughs> that might be extreme so it can like crash into people but it might be better just to do like spikes like this because it likes to bash forward like that but it also like stabs its head downwards so i don't not not quite sure could do both i guess that also would be good to have like uh spikes around the ankles <laughs> this is gonna be like a And then, like, bells and stuff. Because I don't think, like, the point of this thing is not to be quiet, you know? Like, you're not choosing to take this thing into battle to go in stealthily. So I think the natural thing to do is to instead be as loud as possible. Goff Warbore. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking that with the spikes around the ankles. Um, we'll have to figure out how to make that not look silly. Uh. Okay, and then the, the phalanx design. Mm. 
Martin. No, its name is John. We already established that this one's name is John. Stealth Hog would be neat, though. Yeah, but how? Look at this thing. How do you want this thing to be stealthy in any way? Can it have a choker, too? No, it's not going to have a choker. But yeah, um... Hmm. A shield wall. But then it's... I don't know. Yeah, some Aztec Defo Cell stuff would be cool as well, actually. Maybe uh, it's like pretty much like the zoos. Um, what are the big kazoos? Big kazoos. Uh, what are big kazoos? The this this thing fucking. This fucking what is that? It's just big stick that people blow into. What the fuck are those things called? <laughs> They're called didgeridoos. Yes, thank you. Big kazoos, didgeridoos. That's what it was. How would a warborn not get rid to shreds by artillery? Here's the funny thing. They would. If they got hit by artillery, of course they'd fucking die. The same way anything else would. If, if... The, the thing is, you just gotta use what you have. Even, like, people also get shredded to, to bits by artillery. That doesn't mean we, don't, we stop using people. You know? It's like, oh no... If we send people into war, they'll die. Then let's not send people. No, we still send people. It's with everything. So of course they're still going to send the elephants in, even if they will die. Because it's war. You just fucking send them anyway. That's how war goes. Nah, I wouldn't die. <laughs> We hear it here first. Bjorg is the first human that'll get shot by an artillery and fucking not die. He'll just be like, nah, actually, no. Simon, we need a plushie. Jesus. Um, when it comes to more merchandise, let's let's put it on hold for now, alright? Uh, we're gonna get the dwarf, like, next week. Um... If that goes well, we'll see about future merchandise, all right? Because that might be a uh, a good road to go down. But I don't know that yet. We'll have to see how good the wharf goes, you know. And then that might be the 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 call for me to start doing plushies as well. But it just feels like I'm I don't know. Compared to the amount of videos I have, it just feels like I'm milking it. If that makes sense. It's like, oh yes, that popular. Now put out all the merchandise, shirts, t-shirts, mugs, uh, you know, plushies, like all the stuff. As soon as it gets popular, it just. I mean, uh, I'll after the dwarf, I'll I'll think about if if I want to do other stuff.
how they steer the war bore? Easy. There's a steering wheel in the, in the cockpit. The steering wheel right here, which obviously connects to the war bore's steering axle that's inside its neck, right? And then that just steers the thing left or right. Yeah, yeah, the the that's a good idea actually. The the Celtic Turnics, those horns. I find those really cool actually. That's a great idea, honestly. Um, let's do that. How do we do that? Where do we put that? This is so over the top. I'm thinking of a way to put those horns in, and I was thinking not one person could blow them, because it's a lot of horns next to each other, so they'd probably have, like, some magic-powered system inside the tank to, like, briefly blow the horns. You could pretty d easily do that, just have an if uh, written on a pipe that is an acceleration if that accelerates air through the pipe into the horns. And just fuel that with some mana. So you would only need like a few potions. Because I don't think you'll be like. Turning the horn on all the time. So just have it there as like a thing. To do. Let them run down the tusk. Like more heads here. Hold on. This might actually be really cool. If we do like multiple heads next to each other. Holy shit. That might actually be really awesome. Fuck the phalanx. Uh, don't actually do that. But get that out of here. Like have animal heads that are that instrument next to the creature's head. Like that. And then you'd have to have... Well, the pipes are going to be a little annoying, I guess. Well, you could just have them be tubes. And then have the... Yeah, it still work. And then we can still have the shield design on the side, so it's not duplicating the same design. That's neat, though. It's gonna be a wall of sound, pretty much. Like, you're gonna deafen everybody in front of you. Hey, Valley Boar, how's it going? What if it had inc increasingly small heads going from the front all the way to the back, uh, like a decorative ring of heads, each with a trumpet sounding uh, from their mouth in a hellish uh, cacophony? Yeah, I think having them get smaller would be cool. So it's sort of... Holy shit, this is actually really fucking cool. No, you know why? You know why this is cool? Um, this reminds me of Erawan. I talk about Erawan quite often on the channel, on 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 streams. Uh, it's it's basically from like a Thai 
well, it, it's not from a Thai story. It's originally, I think, Indian, but we just, you know, ported it over to Thai. So I just know the Thai version. I don't know the Indian version. But there's a giant elephant in the story called Erawan that has 33 heads just lined up next to each other. Like, it's a giant war machine that, that shakes the earth with every step. It's fucking awesome. So, like, having that sort of imagery in the world is cool. But yeah. Also, hello, Valley Boar. I'm glad to have you here, by the way. Um, that's exactly what I was thinking, uh, too. It's so cool. Yeah. So definitely, definitely have the heads, like, next to each other like this. It would be a bit tedious to, like, fit them, though. Well, I don't think it would be that tedious. You can just have, like, two flat panels like this going out. They're not going to be incredibly, like, thick or heavy, because they're all, like, instruments, which means they're probably made out of, like, thinner material. And then you could have, like, decorative tassels and shit coming down. Like, all crazy. Like this. Oh, yeah. Uh, Malian, uh, thank you for the two dollars. Appreciate it. Fractal heads, yeah, pretty much. They get smaller. Fractal heads would be quite impossible. Like literal fractal heads, that'd be a little impossible to do or illustrate. But I think this is close enough to to that idea. Okay, so the phalanx idea here. You could pretty much mass produce these panels. So it's not like they have to carve each one individually. They could probably like make giant metal plates, sheets, and then just stamp them out. Um, so I think it's not too out of... Uh, too exaggerated to have, like, a ton of these next to each other. We might want to make them smaller, actually, just so the thing looks bigger. Because if they're, like, really large, then it makes the thing look smaller. Lots of small things better than giant big things. Valley Boar knows the more about the most about boars, of course. Uh, by the way, everybody who's in here, check out Valley Boar's channel. Um, just look in the chat. There's Valley Boar. Search it up or click on his profile if that works. I don't know. You gotta check it out. There's only a few videos on there, but they are fucking gold. The ideas he comes up with just, just get your mind flowing, you know? Same way some people, you know, you guys like to say in the comments, it's like, oh, this idea gives me inspiration and gets me thinking and stuff like that. When it comes to my videos, his are the same. He's got some crazy ideas. Uh, fucking, like, uh, the the most recent one is definitely my favorite, the Draum and Hunters. This, the idea of of a uh, like giant dreaming or or godly dreaming entities that cause the world to like twist and change and summon these drown these creatures beyond our understanding is fucking sick. But yeah, definitely, definitely check it out. Completely underrated, uh, criminally underrated. Honestly, he's got to get more views. Please help help a man out. Help a homie out. Oh, uh, Roken, thank you for the five euros. The sound could be used to coordinate uh, surrounding troops through sound signals. Uh, maybe war songs are led by the boars, uh, the, the boar of a war band on the march. Oh, that could be cool. Lovecraftian lore. Oh yeah, it definitely feels very Lovecraftian, and that's what I love about it. It's, it it like it gets you to be so it's so existential, you know. Like holy shit, these these unimaginable horrors just manifest, and the way he fucking draws them as well. Like I don't know where the fuck he pulls his reference from, Valley Boar, but like it's I I don't recognize any of the concepts. Like it's not the usual looking uh, designs, which we just. So good, man. What's the channel? It's it's um Valley Boar. You see him in uh in the chat. 
Valleybor. V A L L E Y Boar. Like the war boar. Valley boar. Valley, the, you know, the, the dip in earth that you can walk through. Valley. This boar got hella bars. <laughs> Yo, he's fucking rapping. He's breaking it down. Pod piece with a cannon, maybe? Nah, <laughs> we ain't doing that. Valley boar is human. Well, yeah. Look at his name. It's a boar. He's a boar. Valley boar is a boar. Yeah, let's, uh, hold on. I just want to make a layer above this, just so we can, like, Just real quick, so I can like tell the armor apart from everything else a little more. Oh, now it looks ugly. Ugh. Oh, I watched Valley Boards videos before. Was sick. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm telling everybody to do it. Okay, there you go. Now I can tell a little better what I'm working on. So. I um by the way we might not actually like finish things today cuz obviously it's like this is quite a big I concept like it's not like a quick sketch like the the war boar cuz this is like a creature design but this would be like very intricate so it's going to take longer which means probably not going to finish this today um probably will just focus on designing it more than actually rendering it I'll render it on my other time. Uh, so definitely want like some tassels down here to and um, let's look at my references. I haven't looked at them in quite a while. Yeah, like smaller plates like this definitely show the size better. So I might want to go with that for the for these plates. And then intersperse them with different shapes to have like a sort of pattern going, maybe. So, but first, let's let's do this first, like that. Something like that, and then we can do some like more circle shaped ones just to break up the, the shapes a little bit. Um Stop with the cod pieces. This thing is not going to have a cod piece. <laughs> it's not going to have a cod piece. Warbore good. Yes. When are the war monkeys coming? Oh, damn. Soon. Soon the war monkeys will come. Right there, and then the spikes coming out of the shields. Like 
that. Another layer of cloth on top. Now, you know what would be funny? If they have the design of like Something that Verus respects on the ass. What would be a good thing to put on its ass that Verus would really be pissed about? Um, like a pillar? <laughs> Just put a pillar on its ass? Uh, oh no, draw a pillarman, right. You could just put a pillarman on its ass. Yeah, so just, like, depict a pillarman on its ass. Just to mock the fuck out of them, you know? Just take the piss. Okay, also, uh, the reason, like, the, the horns don't go, come through here is because I was thinking that they would shave them down uh, to fit the armor. But I guess you could, hmm, I guess you could um do this and, like, have them come through here and then just sort of elaborate them more into spears like that. And also tassels, fucking going crazy with the tassel game. And the eyes. By the way, the eyes are very much inspired uh, by the art of Sky Hornet. Uh, he's a person in a person in a server. Uh, he's he's. Uh, I guess I'm I'm doing another plug. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Sky Hornet's work, check Sky Hornet's work out too. I'm gonna send you. I guess because upsettingly enough. He does not have a YouTube yet, or isn't like sharing his world in that way. Um, I would love to plug his YouTube, but he doesn't have one. I've been pressuring him so to get one because his world needs to be seen like that. Uh, but that hasn't happened yet. So instead, I'm going to tell you to go check out his his uh, Twitter. Um, eyes are inspired by his art because he he. I remember in One Piece, he has, like, eyes on top of each other like this, and it looked fucking awesome. Um, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm uh, taking inspiration from. So hold on, let me just drop this in the chat. Uh, thank you for the five dollars, uh, Malian. Um, if the war boar are somewhat endangered, shouldn't they have their... Reductive organs need to be protected also. Well, you wouldn't... They're not endangered. They're being kept by ROM. So they wouldn't keep throwing them out if, they, if they're if they lessening in amounts. They have a lot of them. That's why they keep, can send out many of them. But yeah, here, here. This is Sky Hornet. So um, I put it in the chat. Check his stuff out. It needs to be seen more. Uh, his world building project is, or or his like illustrations and and the imagination that goes into his work have made me reconsider my world. <laughs> like that's how good it is. I saw it and I was like, 
fuck, I want to go more fan- like, I want to go more fantastical with my world, like, my shit just looks boring compared to this. This shit's, like, that's how I wish my world looked. That's how I wish my world looked. That's how good that shit is. So be sure to check that out. He posts on world building, uh, Reddit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he, he does, definitely, because, um, I saw, I, I recently went into the world building Discord, and he was there too, so I was just assuming that, yeah, he'd probably be posting on, on world building uh, Reddit as well. I cannot stop thinking about the idea for war monkeys. We might want to do war monkeys. Who knows? Uh, I'll think about it. They might not be able to be monkey monkeys, but um, I'll, I'll consider. There's a world building Discord. Yeah, there's. Uh, well, there's there's a Reddit world building Reddit thread, and they have a Discord for that. Um, it's it, there's quite a lot of people in there. Literally, uh, it's called our world building. Uh, you can search up uh, world building discords on Google and. It's, It'll probably show up, like, pretty, you know, pretty quickly. I don't think it's going to be hard to find. But yeah, I, I, I hopped in there recently. Sadly, they don't have, um, because I, obviously, I, I like, uh, I like being in VCs a lot more than, than typing because uh, I type slow. Um, but sadly, like, the world-building thread doesn't... Uh, Discord doesn't have any VCs, but still, there's some very interesting conversations happening in each of the chats, like, constantly. And I've I've spent some uh, time just sort of watching people talk about their worlds, and it's very interesting. It gives me a lot of inspiration. Also, I'm sorry that I'm using red. This is like the most eye-piercing color. Uh, let me change that real quick so we don't have to suffer. There you go. Why is there still a red streak? Did I put that on the wrong layer somewhere? Oh boy, what layer is that on? Ah, okay. There you go. Um, who out here chimping they wars? Uh, much better. Yes, much better. Um, baboons, baboons. What you gonna do when they fling that? The oh, fuck. Man, I'm slowly losing consciousness, if you're not realizing, by the way. Uh, this is... The the tiredness is starting... Oh, no. Well, it really isn't, but... Uh, it's it's definitely affecting my, my speaking capabilities. But, but, something that I have realized recently... Um, weirdly enough, the later it gets, the better I get at playing games... So I can sacrifice sleep for the sake of making myself better at games. Um, like, everything just flows better for some reason. Um, in the server, I was playing... My, my, my 
proudest gaming moment. Um, any true gamer, obviously, um, has not. N nobody can call themselves a true gamer until they have they have played Cronker Strike on on Discord, and and I, I played Cronker Strike one day. And I kicked ass in Cronker Strike. We played it for, with people on the server for like four hours, <laughs> maybe more than four hours straight, just past midnight into the night. Cronker Strike, one round after the other, just no pause. <laughs> I just kept getting better. Like as as it got later, I just fucking started just just you know snap snap uh like snap aiming towards people's heads, fucking. Just killing it. But yeah. Crunker Strike. Um sorry, not Crunker Strike, it's Crunker Strike. <laughs> uh but yeah, I've realized the same when I was playing the finals as well. Like I got better at the finals when it was late compared to when it was early. When it was early, I was fucking stupid. I, I would hold bombs and accidentally punch them and blow myself up and jump out of window windows into the void and miss every shot. But then later in the night, I started getting, you know, getting a little better. Getting a little smoother with it, you know? Putting on some moves. Throwing the enemy team for a loop. Also the tap. Like, uh, basically, everything that I just sketched up needs to be smaller uh, to give more of a size to the elephant. Um, That's a good trick, by the way. Uh, if... Art tip. Holy shit. I'm giving an art tip. Can't believe it. Um, if you want things to look bigger, have things on its body that are smaller so the thing looks bigger. If I had big-ass tassels, it will make this thing look smaller. But if I have lots of small tassels, it makes it look bigger. You know, It's even better if you can find something on its body to give like a proper comparison with like you know we know the relative size of like birds for example so if you draw a bird on this thing like sitting perched on its head compared to its size that would be like really good at showing how big it is because you can make the bird really small like if i make a bird and draw the bird being this big here on its head like just sort of sitting on it you'd be like damn that thing's huge you know but, like, if I draw the bird this fucking big, bam, instantly you're like, what? This size, this thing's like the size of a dog. You know? But if I draw it small, holy shit, it's massive. It's fucking massive. There you go. Art tip of the day. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that often. I, I don't have many art tips. It's just... Vulture should perch. Yes, fucking vultures should perch on it. Completely true. Hold on, let me. I'm not sure if vultures are the right choice though, because vultures are fucking big. Vultures are big, so like it would make it look smaller. I've seen some vultures, uh, like like compared to people, they're fucking huge. Vulture size. Yeah, they're big birds. Yeah, crows might be bad. But thing is, crows are big too. Like, um, the thing is, uh, in Thailand, like, right now I'm not in Thailand, right? In Thailand, birds are bird size. Like, I, I'm used to those bird sizes, right? Like, little birds, you know, uh, little, little guys that just perch on your, on your fence or, like, on the roof and stuff like that, and they're cute, right? And our pigeons are also, like, sort of small. They're not that big. But then I came to, like, America, for example. I was in America for a month. Birds are fucking huge. Everything's big. 
the pigeons are big or like um in in denmark the in Denmark there were some crows or or whatever it was. Crows are fucking huge. Why are crows so big? Crows are smaller than most vultures, though. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are smaller. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I wasn't like saying that crows are still are, are as big as vultures. I'm just saying they're still pretty big compared to the birds I'm normally used to seeing. Bird is bird, and I like bird. Yeah, yeah, I like birds. It's just I don't expect them to be that big. But they are that big. <laughs> Bald Pro is going to spend all night on bird lore. No worries, no worries. That's that's all I'm going to say about birds. All I'm going to say. Combat Wombat? No, I'm not going to have a Combat Wombat. But yeah, I'm really happy with how the design's coming along, actually. I like this. Now I just need to... Um, uh, sorry, I forgot the name of it. Uh, what's the name of these... The, the horn things we we're going to use again? The horns that are like... Uh, this, this thing. If anybody's... There. What's those called? Yeah, thank you. Carnix. Carnix. Or however you say that. Or. Or. Rings. Perfect. It's like these ones are fucking awesome. This one, it's terrifying. Like that's perfect for for a war boar. Look at that thing. Ah! <laughs> it's pretty. It is a boar, isn't it? No, it has big ears. Um, it's another thing, but it it has like a boar nose. We could definitely like change it into a boar. That's cool. We also got... That. Kind of goofy, but in the right scenario, it can be terrifying. Yeah. You don't expect it to have a tongue. I think it's like for reverberation or something. Like it wiggles when you when you when you play the instrument. Ah, oh, there you go. There's a creation of it. Uh, you should round out the round it out more. Hold on. Like more like like this. Actually, why not have another head? Just go nuts with it. There, bang. Just another head on top of the head. What you gonna do about it? Uh, this is Rom.
One piece. God damn it. What's with you and the cod piece? Could mages grow extra limbs? I don't know. This drawing is an absolute mess. It's gonna get cleaned up slowly, but until then, it's still an absolute mess. Still, I'm trying to figure out how these things will be connected. I mean, they're gonna have to be... They're pretty big, aren't they? I think those heads are a little too big, actually. Hold on. Let's get... These heads make them a little smaller. Okay, there you go. Um, and metal tusk caps. I, I have them, I just didn't color them in. I do have metal tusk caps here too. So both tusks are capped. It's just I didn't draw it well. I'm probably gonna have to redraw this because it looks too much like a like a mess. I want it to be more I feel like it'd be best to have the heads offset maybe. Uh, why not make it like a triceratop heads with a da -da -da. um no it's because I like this shape more uh, I don't really want like a like a circular like this and the heads being around I want them to be more to the side because um I'm trying to emulate Erawan, uh the the elephant with like the thirty three heads 
uh, and the heads like go off to the side, so that's why I want them to go off to the side. Make a head for each of the other gods. Oh, that's a good idea. Wait, we pretty much have that already. We're good. We got thir we got twelve, including the main one. So, uh, we got one. You know, six each side, twelve. Yeah, uh, not including the main head. So we do have twelve of them, which means if we do want to go crazy with it, we can have each of them represent a god which means each of them would have a different design um Verus does depict their gods as animals uh, the god of the forge is a snake so we could make oh god that's gonna be so much It would fit so well, though. So, so we have snake, right? Snake would just be that you have to. Instead, have like a split tongue, perhaps. And then move the eye forward. this maybe show like a piece of fire coming out they would still need to all sort of still have like the same ish profile to make it work an owl wouldn't make really sense i was thinking that one of the gods would be an owl but uh, how am I gonna? Just have an owl with like a big old beak. Hmm. Hold on. I have an idea to make these look a little more readable for now. So wait, let me erase all of this, clear it up. It's way too messy. Do something so we can tell it, or make it easier to read what this actually is. So it's a panel going out to the side of the head, and it's going to have six heads. Six heads coming out of it. And then some magic has to happen behind the panels to make the sound work. Uh, would Ram make those gods' heads be somewhat accurate, or would they make them more perverse, bastardized versions since they don't actually respect the gods of magic? Yeah, yeah, they totally like bastardize them. But like that would mean we would have to go 
design every well not every god we'll have to design six of them and think about how they bastardize them in this particular version which you know what i'm probably gonna go do i'm probably gonna do that because this is just a it, it will be like a really cool design if that is how we do it Also, it doesn't look like it's curving, and I know why. Uh, because these should be closer. More like that. So these ones are facing forward, these ones are like 45, and these ones, or uh, from the top view, hold on, top view, this is the front of the head, right, the snout, then these panels, I'm sort of thinking they go like, like that. So first one goes there, then there, then there. Sort of like that. Okay. Like the underside of cupcake tray? Yes, exactly, actually. That is perfect to explain what I'm going for. I think this is going to be enough for the stream for now. Um, I enjoyed it. It's currently almost 5 a.m., so I gotta head to bed. I hope you enjoyed that. I am very happy with the ideas we came up with, but this is going to still require a lot of work before it's done. Um, and I still don't really know what this thing on top is going to look like quite yet. This doesn't really fit yet. So we'll see what I can come up with for that. But I hope you enjoyed that. Um, take care, guys. Oh, shit. Uh, thank you for the five euro euros, Roken. Uh, appreciate it. The sea god thingy uh, important for travelers and stuff or whatever could be a monkfish head. Hold on. Let me do that before I leave. Monkfish. Because I don't know what that is. Oh shit, that'd be perfect. That thing looks yucky. Yes, monkfish. Just some nasty looking fish. Sea god. Monkfish. Thank you. Okay.